Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got a sample? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll try it out. You mean? You mean? Don't make me do 100 rounds to get fed 100 times. As the name suggests, we are at Food Trucks Heaven. An open lot filled with some of the most unique looking food trucks in Central Florida. Let's see what we can get into. Or should I say, let's see what we can taste. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. First truck is called Pika Longa. It's hibachi, but they close. So I noticed today isn't a crazy busy day. It's a burger spot, Venezuelan. Dominican, this is Dominican Puerto Rican truck. Can y'all see that? Oh, Maryland, Maryland American seafood. Crab cakes right there. Bless belly. That looks good too. Yeah, this food truck look official, don't it? Tell you what, you could be overwhelmed. Hey look, we got a sushi food truck too. Maybe, in a little bit. Yeah, I'm walking around right now. Oh, okay, maybe when you come back. Look at that. If you want, you can take a look at the menu. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Pepito. Yeah. Gracias. Really good steak. Good steak, okay. Picanha plate is a plate full of the steak. On the side comes with um, green plantains, pico de gallo, um, garlic sauce, and white cheese on top of your side. Okay. And this one comes with a free drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. Yeah, of course. Smells great. Let me try this out real quick. No problem. Thank you for the sample. I like that. That's really, really good. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Oh, good. The Point Grill Steakhouse. Mmm. I ain't even capping either. That thing was official. I'm definitely going back there. Hold on. I got I to check to see what other spots is out here, but kudos to them. They get massive points for giving out samples. That's how you're supposed to do it here. It's a lot of food trucks, and you got to win a lot of people over. Look at Oh, we got another one. We got another sample. Hmm. Well, that's a nice amount of fat. That was good too. For his most famous burger. I love the decor, man. Look at this food truck. Damn, look at this. We got fried rice, hibachi chicken. Damn, I don't even think they open though. Nah, they're not open. Look at this food truck right here. This is not too overwhelming. There are two rows of food truck and another row on the outside. Um, great, I, I think this is probably more diverse than the world food trucks because I've seen Dominican, Puerto Rican, Argentinian, Venezuelan, uh, Steakhouse, they got Japanese. This place has more character in my opinion, you know what I mean? But also at the same time, is that too many? Today is a Wednesday and places aren't open quite yet. But we went, so this is, no, actually this is a Thursday. So it's not too crazy, it's not too busy, which I like and the weather is pleasant. Right now it's probably about 70 degrees. 
When we went to World Food Trucks, it was blazing. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the family. They just resting in the car. We're gonna select three places and then go from there. Oh, first, first food truck we go into is this one. Cause they were the first one to, to say anything. You know what I mean? I feel like these people gotta be like, they gave me the, the free sample. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm at the mall. You know what I mean? At the mall, those Chinese places, they, they, they fighting for your love. They're fighting for that dollar, man. So that's very important. And for the record, this is my son's backpack. As y'all can see, I'm wearing it for him. And also for the record, this is a Venezuelan food truck. Oh, perfect. Thank you. That looks crazy. That is steaming. Thank you. All right, all right. Wow, so you have the steak that's already cut into strips. You got the cheese, tostones. We got the pico de gallo. This thing is, this thing is uh, smelling scrumptious. Well done steak. Y'all like well done steak, they got it here. But the one thing I must say is it is absolutely tender out of this world. It's good, buddy? Oh, my son, my son eating french fries again. How's, how's the fries? Good. Thank you. You're Here we go. We got the toast tonus too. Cheers. Dad, you forgot to say grace. Go say grace. Oh. Dear Lord, thank you for waking up this morning. Thank you for uh, our lives. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for uh, blessing us with this beautiful food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Special. Mm, cheese. Mm, mm, mm. It's amazing. It's amazing. But the guy was really fresh. Tostone is really fresh too. Nice, nice light salt on top. Hmm. You try it? Steak? I don't know what this is. What is, it, what is this again? What did she say? Garlic or sour cream? Mm, garlic. This garlic, white garlic sauce is really slamming. It really elevating the food. Mm. Well, the pico de gallo is amazingly fresh. Tomatoes, <coughs> nice and plump still. Try this out. It's a nice acidity to the uh, to the steak. <coughs> All right, you heard my wife said. Mm. Try this out with some hot sauce. Try it with the Good joint, good joint. Uh, we're gonna move on here. Uh, if I had to rate this, I, I'd give this a... Um, yum. <laughs> mm. That is really enjoyable. Nine out of 10. Let's move on. So, so what I enjoy most about this meal is that it, to me, it feels very clean. Um, the steak isn't like overpowering anything. It works so well with this toast tortoise. The steak is, I feel like a simple, simple seasoning of just salt and garlic, you know what I mean? And a pepper. But yeah. All right, so just cause the way this food truck looks, I'm gonna order 
I'm ordering from here. What is it called? The award for best looking food truck here is this 1972 Airstream Mexican food truck. Tacos, Vidya Ramen, Tortas, Mexican pizza, loaded fries, and Mexican snack. They got elote. I was looking for they have it. Right there. Oh, nice. They got ice cream too. That looks really good. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Looks amazing. Thank you. What we got here? Nice. So let's do the elote first. This is with Doritos. Then they give you a lime too. So this is the elote with uh, Doritos. I guess you can have different toppings. Yeah. That's pretty good. This is a hefty corn. Mm. Damn, it's so good. The, Dori the Dorito. The what? The Dorito. <laughs> that you put the accent I'm trying to. Trying to, res trying to respect the culture. The Dorito. The Dorito makes us a whole meal. Are you eating this? It's like You're a whole snack. eating that. It's... I think a little bit of Thai gin in here too. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Very, very fun. Very delicious. Shout out to, what's the name of it? Michoacana. La Michoacana. Michoacana. La Michoacana. La Michu, Micho. Michoacana. La Michoacana. There you go. All right. Temperature is getting a little chilly here. Dipping down to the 50s in Florida, which is kind of crazy. But I pray that this, this media ramen is good because you cannot look this good and the food cannot taste bad. The food gotta taste as good as you look. Looks good. What is this? You ordered this too? Did you order this? Damn. Ooh. Oh, there's cheese in here. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I don't everything. Ooh. Hold up, wait a minute. Let's try this out. Shout out to my sidekick right here. Mr. French fries. All right, let me taste this out, buddy. Let's taste this broth. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 slow down. That cheese just gave us a, a whole dimension of body into the broth. You know what I mean? I would say yes to it. <laughs> yes. The beef is tender. A lot of layers to this flavor, but the, the broth is like, because of the cheese and, and, and the body of it, the thickness is getting thick, like kind of like on the verge of being a curry type of thick, you know what I mean? They did that, they did that. Only thing I would need is some jalapenos in there and a little bit of spice. But this BDR ramen, I don't know because it's cold here in Florida, give that a 10 out of 10. Wow, impressive. You haven't rated anything yet that high. <laughs> I just love Mexican and, and like Asian fusion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean?
So I think this was on the house. This is the Bidia Rama, <coughs> Bidia Rama. She just wanted me to try this because we didn't order this. Mad cheesy. It looks like it's a, a cheese crust. So let's see how it is. So since we're dealing with a cheese crust with some Bidia tacos, dip it into some of that broth. So this shell is from like uh, cheese. Let's try it out. Careful. No. Oh, super cheesy. Impressive. I don't know if you can hear it. This is more like a stuffed cheese taco. Look at all that cheese. Look at the uh, the meat in there. <coughs> I'm getting full. Can we slow down? That's impressive too. A little bit on the greasy side because of the cheese. So, to me from there, the Bidia Rama is my favorite. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? The family's going back to the car because they're getting cold. I'm just gonna do one more place, man. Three is what I said, three is what I'm gonna do. So I thought I was recording, but let me show you what I got. I couldn't leave out of here without getting their popsicles. They have it on display, it looks amazing. This is the strawberry cheesecake one. I bit into it already, I said you have to bite this with the back teeth, because it's like frozen. If you got false teeth on the front or sensitive, you ain't gonna get it. You gotta... The flavor, it's so Oh, it was so delicious. And um, the last one I got is the gancito, which is like a Mexican sweet bread. It's filled with like strawberries, chocolate, vanilla. <laughs> this one is doing something to me right now. It's like a, not an aphrodisiac, but a fat bro -disiac. You know what I mean? It's so good. Pretty good. Let's move on. Now what is this? This is a hot dog. Exactly. Should I even do it? It's got a grape. Grape? Yeah. Uh, what we got? Just hot dogs here? It's hot dog and pepito. It's pepito is a sandwich. It's a big okay. sandwich. Oh, it's a big sandwich? Yeah. It's have it for the for the regular. It's beef or oh, chi oh, chicken. It's bacon, cheese, fries, sauce, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, pork, onions, uh, cabbage, alfalfa, and avocado. It's a lot of food. Yeah. Can I try a hot dog? A hot dog, yes. With the uh, onions, the uh, cabbage. Yeah, or... everything. Yeah, you put everything on it. Only one? One, and let me get one more thing. What's the sandwich you said? This, all this is... All this sandwich? Yeah. Which one is the best one? Okay. Which one do you like the most? The book, the big, big, big? Yeah. Or is this? Yeah, okay. Wow, that's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. That is a two of... Uh, point. No, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, you have it for A, that's regular, that's one, uh, one person. That's for this and one person, for two, two person maybe. Okay, let's do the chicken. One for chicken? Yeah. And then one for dog, everything. Yeah. Assortment of sauces here. You know what I'm saying? Look at them love birds. That would be me, man. If I, if I was single down here in Orlando, shoot. I ain't even gotta be single. I would bring my wife down here. And we would we would have date night at each spot here every other every other month. You know what I mean? Make it special. I know I know some of y'all have been here. Actually I know a lot of y'all have been to like food truck parks, right? What is your deciding factor to choosing a food truck? Is it the bright lights? Do they have to greet you a certain way? Uh, of course, it has to be the food that you want. But what's your deciding factor? You know what I mean? 
an overwhelming place like this, um, I, kinda, I want something different. The lines don't have to be long either for me to go try it out. If you have something that's somewhat different, if I look at the menu and it kind of piques my interest, I'd probably want to try it because I know the other stuff is probably good too. That's just me. In this case here, you know, I had a uh, one of those Mexican hot dogs in Arizona, which is really good. That didn't even sound right either. Wow, crazy, a Mexican hot dog in Arizona. I'm, I'm just gonna end this, vi I should just end this video right now. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's that's a hot dog. Yeah, hot dog. That looks amazing. Thank you. No problem. Wow. That is a lot of hot dog. There's two more hot dogs over there too, look. That's right, get that glizzy girl. No. Fresh green Uvita. I wanted to try a different soda out. Y'all rocking with this? This this is what you call presentation on the bean. This made me feel like I did something special. The bang boom pow. Fire. I'm not even kidding, that's fire. I just had steak. I just had ramen and tacos. Off of that first bite, that was fire. The hot dog tastes great, but they, they, have, they have potato sticks in here. And the cheese, the cheese is just melts. I'm gonna show y'all again. I don't wanna deconstruct this for y'all, but I don't wanna mess this up. Potato sticks, onions. What else am I tasting? <laughs> Relish, maybe cheese. Do I need mustard? I ain't gonna do the mustard on it. This is good. Every every new bite, I'm 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 getting more flavor. I'm cilantro in here. Oh, the pepito. Wow. That is a lot of food. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I taste the cilantro in here, the cheese, potato sticks. Ooh, they got corn. All right, playa. A lot of flavor here that works, man. This thing works. Yeah, they're, they're, that hot dog was fun to eat. We're not gonna make it through the video, y'all. Y'all keep laughing at me. We are not gonna make it through the video. I got people that want me to be grown in these videos. I'm grown today, all right? I'm just having fun, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it too serious. I like having fun. Hopefully y'all like having fun too. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, I don't know. That's how I stay thin, man. I'm, I'm just fun, I don't take it on serious. Tastes like the struggle. This is the mid-sized one. So it looks like it's grilled chicken, but they have one where you can have grilled steak, chicken, shrimp, everything. But look at this. Chipotle wished they could compete. So this is a sandwich. I know I love sandwich. And I came all the way to Florida to eat sandwiches, but it's all right, we're gonna get it together. Let's try this bread out. I wanna see the bread. So, so this has, you know I mean, Valentine's Day, you gotta undress this slow, nice and slow. So let's talk about the layers. We got a layer of cheese, french fries, um, lettuce, hopefully they got onions in there, chicken, probably mayo and sauce. They got mad sauces here, I ain't gonna do it. I just wanna try this out by itself. I'm glad that the meat, the chicken itself, isn't like, I'm glad it's not chopped really fine. There is chunky chicken in here. I taste the onions, gives it a nice crunch. The cheese, they got corn in here, ketchup, 
probably a little bit of mayo. Tomatoes. This sandwich runs deep, so deep, so deep. Put my butt, ah, man, we're not gonna make it today. Very happy, very happy. Um, <clears throat> the hot dog to me was great simple eats. This one is a more on the, you gotta be real hungry to eat this. You can share this one. They got a two. They got two sizes: the not big one, and then they got the large one. I don't know what you call that. Would you? This is not a small. This has got to be like regular, regular and large, two sizes. Out of all the places I I, I, I had two I had three places up. They're all fantastic. For the sauce, this is the sauce for the house. That's garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Yeah. Okay. Um, pork. This bacon. This garlic. Tartar is vegetal. Cheese. And the other is the Venezuela is the avocado. Venezuela. Does it go good with this? Yeah. This is more, more good. The, this, this one's better? This one. Garlic, this is the garlic wood? Garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Let's try the garlic parmesan. Yeah. Wow. It's good. It's real good. Venezuelan, I didn't know that. So I went to two Venezuelan trucks and a Mexican spot. The Venezuelan sandwich name is ridiculous. And there's steaks. So maybe this became like a whole Venezuelan tour. I don't know. I am full. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for joining me. This place right here is amazing too. If I wasn't so uh, backed up with other food, I say this is, hot dog was fun to eat. This to me, you gotta be real hungry. The toaster bread, mad flavors going on, but it's very satisfying. A hearty sandwich, you know what I mean? Um, food truck heaven as a whole. I prefer this place better than world food trucks. I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is not as overwhelming. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more cleaner. But then again, I, I am here on a Thursday, so it's not too crowded and it's a little bit cold too. But as of now, I say this place, I say it has more diversity in, in a way, but then again, I haven't been to war food trucks. But give this place a, give this place a, a play. If war food trucks is not your stop, give this place a play. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I'm out of here. I'm going to the hotel to lay down and rest because I am tired. I'm tired, man. I do this for y'all, though. I love y'all, so I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.